You're not confident. Did I mess anything up? You, no, you did a great job. The other thing I would add is um, to use the triggers, leverage the triggers to create a need. Yep. So when you, get, you hear a trigger and you hear a no and a reason why they're giving you that no after you've gotten from them, create a need using that information, if that makes sense. Yep. So, and that'll give you a little bit more ammo to close. So what about the no, I don't have time right now? No, I don't have time right now. Uh, I have an answer for that one. Okay. And this is, a lot of this stuff, the whole process, interesting enough, is what I did on a day-to-day -day basis on my mission for the LS Church. Like, mm -hmm. this is what it is. All we were trying to do really was get a sale, get into oh, people's yeah. house so that we could tell them about our message. So, I mean, I talked to hundreds of people a day doing this exact thing. And one thing that we found was very interesting and got a lot of success is you make the decision for them. And that's not, that's not like something. controlling or manipulative. It's just people don't like making decisions. So what we would do is we would say, oh, you don't have time right now. That is completely fine. We understand you're busy. Would you like us to come back tomorrow at 7 or at 9? Yeah. So they don't even have to make the decision, can we come back? Yeah. Or what day can we come back? All they have to do is go, hmm, 7 or 9? 7. Yeah. And so, so in a cold calling situation, so then you would just set up an to, appointment to come Yeah, so you, you, so you take sure that principle gone. of you guys make your decision. So you have these triggers. They say, no, I don't have time. Well, then your, your preset answers are, Okay, well, here's either this option or this option. Which one would you like? Either way, I'm winning. Yeah. A assumptive also, when you're I'm making an assumptive you. offer, typically... Huh? Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, heads I win, tells you this. Yeah. Exactly. The, uh, yeah. the, in presenting an offer, being assumptive is very important, so I'm glad that you brought that up. Cause I, uh, and you don't have to do it in you, a way that's manipulative it's or... It's not manipulative at all. I, it's just an example it's of... You have a good product, so that's why this is important is that you have a good product, otherwise you wouldn't be in business. Hopefully not. <laughs> you know, but you are assuming that this is going to be a good product, and I'm assuming you're going to want to buy this because I know that I've done a lot of comparables and that my product is the best for you. So I'm going to assume that you are going to get that right away, and I'm going to be assumptive on it. What I would often do is... Uh, how I would structure my offer for maybe identity theft protection. I would say, you know, Mr. Jones, earlier you mentioned your concern about how uh, there's so much theft in the world or that uh, you're concerned about your safety online and people getting your information. Uh, I'm glad that you're taking steps to uh, be concerned and, and educate yourself on that. Our identity theft protection provides three bureau monitoring and we also give you instantaneous <coughs> updates both to your email and if your phone by text message if you like. Uh, we also provide you your credit reports uh, every quarter. That way you can just make sure that everything's looking all right. I'm gonna, it's $12.99 a month. I'll go ahead and get that set up for you today. And I just need <coughs> to do a quick disclosure so we can get your protection started, okay? So I'm, I'm making an assumptive offer. I'm assuming based on his concern that he needs a solution and that he's ready to have that solution because of how important he said his concern was. And then he'll say no. And then, then it's just no, comma, I already have it through American Express. Oh, great, I'm glad you've already taken steps to protect yourself. Is the name of the product, you know, Identity Shield? Yes. Great, do you pay $9.99 a month? Yes. Great, well ours is $8.99 a month. And I can see that with their service, you're getting this, but we offer one more piece in the feature A category. They don't offer feature B, but we do. And our feature C has two more things in that box than this one does. Obviously, you don't want to go through all those. Maybe you just want to pick one or two and then close again. If he says no again, then you would move on, so on and so forth. So one question I have is, uh, do you guys have any tips for dealing with or I should say recovering from the toxic phone call where somebody just goes off on you or um, de just de even dealing with the constant no's. Uh, it does, yeah, dealing with the constant no's is a great point. So recovering, um, I, I recovered by just taking a few seconds. I would pause my phone so I wouldn't get a, new, a next phone call and I would just take a few deep breaths and uh, just know that it's not about me personally. It's it's not. It's just them and their world. Maybe I caught them at a bad time. Maybe they're they just got yelled at by a customer 
and so they're looking to take it out on me. You know, it's trying to take a moment to re, uh, readjust your perspective on what you're doing. And um, dealing with all the no's, one thing that worked for me is when setting an expectation that you're going to, that no is a normal part of the conversation. Like it doesn't even register the rejection. The rejection is normal. So if you kind of get in a set, it's just like saying any other word, that helps as well. But hearing no over and over and over again, one thing about hearing no means that every time you hear a no, you're one step closer to getting to a yes. And that's those are tricks that you know help me. Great. Anything else? Andrew? No. Okay. Thanks, Travis. Well,